Heidi ho all you internet neighbors, welcome back. It is Friday, Friday, Friday. Congrats, you made it. You made it through to Friday. Um, welcome. I am Varmathrax. This is Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. That is a shock zombie. This is me getting shocked by a shock zombie. <laughs> oh yeah. There you go. Give you an up close and personal look at it. <laughs> And then I shall sneeze. <clears throat> Ugh, more sneezing. Okay, maybe I'm done. <laughs> maybe. Maybe not. Uh, I might have a few more in me. Uh, uh, it's one of the vagaries of my system. Once or twice a month, my body just decides it's time to get our sneezing quota caught up. <laughs> Here you go. Have 12. Uh, and everything's fine again. Uh, weirdo system. Um, Yeah, so I, I'm back. All right. Uh a little bit of post sneezing snivels. So, um, yeah, that's a shock zombie. That's us getting shocked by a shock zombie. So I saw a question about uh, experimental build. I, I, I updated to the most recent build right before I went live. Was that a bad thing? <laughs> uh, hey, look at that. What does that button do? Body status. A whole screen of body status. How come it doesn't show me how many slots? My bionic slots. Where's my bionic slot information? Holy crap, you can zoom in. Left foot has positions? <laughs> Is this going to be part of the uh, eventual future amputation system? <laughs> uh, left toe amputated. <laughs> left heel crushed. You have flat feet, minus 1% movement speed, without shoes, without orthopedic shoes. <laughs> uh, how, many, how many head parts do we have? We have cheeks, lips, you know, that's the highly moist area there. Moist sensitive, the nape. <laughs> you have been critically struck in the nape. Off goes the head.
Ah, that's interesting. So how do you... Oh, there you go. Page up, page down for the right-hand side. So we now have coverage. We have encumbrance. We have what's worn on the slot. My cheeks are wearing my, uh, my two items here. No encumbrance, no coverage, because I have hooves. Hmm. Yeah, I need me some of this right here. I need some of this. Zeros are not doing me any favors. All right. So, um, I, I mean, I assume this is going to be leading to something. Why would I, why do I care about this currently? I mean, I don't know. It's, it's nice all, I guess. Hopefully it's building to something. Cool. That's the S key right there. S for stats. E for proficiencies. Any other buttons? I think that's it. Toolbox. Y. Character's body status. All right. Well, yeah, that's cool. I guess. Ugh. Okay. Yeah, it's not even allergies. Year round, I just take every once in a while, once or twice a month, usually. I just uh, I get about twelve sneezes out of me all at once. Then, then I'm good. All right. Um. Do do do. Yeah, I'm assuming that's going to lead into some other other details or information, so or be part of another system. I know there's further health-related systems coming down the pipeline that they're building towards. Um, so, there you go. Uh, intro time. We're too far in already. Uh, Cowboy Joe the Third, continuing our current adventures. Right now, we are dealing with uh, teleporting shock zombie who keeps being moved. I'm assuming by the portal storm. To my current location, he then attempts to shock these things, and then the sparkles, you know, drift right into me. Through, through the vehicle. <laughs> Apparently through the closed vehicle. Regardless of, uh, you know, electrical transmission status and uh, rubber tires on the grass and so on, I'm still getting shocked. So, yeah, it's silly. Um... We're just going to relocate again. I gotta. I just got to wait out this stupid portal storm. Originally, we were just breeding in our Humvee, you know, doing our thing. Or I think I was trying to sleep, actually. Yeah, I was trying to sleep. I was trying to sleep so we could do some uh, night raiding up here. And we keep getting interrupted. They keep moving the shack zombie to wherever I move to. Um, so <laughs> I'm not sure what I'll do. I guess I'll move one more time and we'll, we'll not sleep immediately. We'll see if he relocates again and starts shocking me again. Um, yeah, I could do without that nonsense. So we'll see. All right. Um, is there more than one Cowboy Joe series? Uh, no, <laughs> this is the only one. Well, one and only. It is both on YouTube and on Twitch, just at different points, because there's a delay for Cataclysm between the live Twitch stuff and when it shows up on YouTube. But... It's only been one series, we're just on the third iteration of Cowboy Joe. He's died twice. We've died and restarted. We're on the third third try. I don't even remember the first two deaths. I think they were lab, ridiculous lab related. I remember one being a cold lab. <laughs> so, the first two guys, they were done real fast. Alright. It's just one continuous series. If I die really, really early in a series, I just... I put a numeral after the name and we try again. If I get very far into the series, it's then that's the end of the run usually. It just kind of depends on what kind of series I'm running. All right, let's um yeah, I mean there's my stuff. I have stuff. 
Everybody's been, fo- been following for a while. They know about the stuff. Some of it's been renamed, so if you're new to the game or new to this series and you see stuff you don't recognize and you're, you're a knowledgeable, experienced player, it's because characters, characters, viewers are renaming my stuff. It's one of the things you can do with your with your, your channel points is rename my crap, and um, they're happy to do that. So we got some stuff. You've seen the character sheet. Um, yeah, let's just get moving. Ignore, ignore. Yeah, I know I'm standing in sparkles. Am I going to be able to start the vehicle, or is this one of those infinitely screwed, can't do anything action things, and I die because the sparkles are just infinite? <laughs> Stop trying to start the vehicle. No. <laughs> now, get me out of the damn sparkles. I guess I should run this guy over, huh? I should kill him. We should blap him with the 50. Let's blap him with the 50. I'm sick of this. Hey, Mr. Shock Zombie, you are annoying me. Have a 50 caliber round into your, uh, your nape. I shot him in his nape. That is what I have decided. He has been shotted in the nape. Stop driving. I'm gonna hop out in the middle of a portal storm. Can I, can I pulp him before that cop gets here? Yes. <laughs> All right. So hopefully that gets rid of the te mysteriously teleporting shock zombie. <laughs> and they're not just gonna summon up another one to annoy me. Let's find an empty spot if we can. The hell? <laughs> what the hell? An area of something that almost looks like grass. The blades are serrated and move on their own. Move on their own. Peering right behind me. The only reason I know is I saw that and went, what the hell is that, that nonsense? Well, that's interesting. How fast do they move on their own? Does it mean they actually literally move on the map or just that they kind of wave back and forth? Huh. I don't see them moving. We got stuff coming this way due to the 50 cal shenanigan. So let's get down here. Nope, don't want Dermatix. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna try this spot right here. We're gonna stay standing up. Up, oh, yep, here come the shifting masses. Small caches in reality open nearby, revealing an endless expanse of black water. An alien being spills through before the portals close. Hey you, can you get in my vehicle? Doesn't look like it. Ah, oh, that's the one that got me in trouble earlier, right there. Those impossible shapes. Whoop, blap. <laughs> Tried to use an alpha invalid alpha talker. I don't know what he's trying to do. He has some kind of an ability he's trying to do on me. Weird. Shifting mass. Let's see. All right, let's risk it. What the hell? Where? Blindfold. I think I have earplugs in too. My deef. I'm not deep. Um, old mask earplugs. I am deep. Earplugs don't trigger the deaf effect here. I thought they did. Hmm. All right, whatever. Uh, yeah, let's try to sleep again. You wait. I'm. I'm. Skull Zombie is biting my head. Skull Zombie is biting my head. In my vehicle. I have. I am completely missing a door section. <laughs> well, uh, and the serrated grass is under me again? Yep, the grass is under me again. Uh, okay. Huh. And there's more zombies loaded up on me. 
So once again, the game is, you know, cheating like a mofo in that it keeps putting zombies right on top of me. That is some bull crap nonsense that we've seen over and over and over and over again. I didn't think anything would be able to break my door, though. Heavy metal frame, scrap metal. So yeah, he act they actually busted my door. I am impressed. And, you know, really annoyed. So now it's dark. <sighs> Let's see. Um, well, I need to move, but I need to not get killed by this skull zombie while I'm doing it. I'm not sure what would happen if I tried to shoot the skull zombie with the 50 cal <laughs> with me in between the line of fire. All the audio events from the portal storm happen by the player, drawing everyone towards them. Hmm. All right. I mean, that explains a little bit more why it's radically more pronounced during the portal storm, but it doesn't address, you know, when it does it every other time I try to sleep in an open field <laughs> and the zombies just beeline right at me. Uh, how many hits will he get on me while I try to move? Or do I just try to kill these three guys? I'm worried about what's behind these three guys somewhat. What are in my hands? Nothing. If I wield that axe, it's going to be woo, 275. That's a lot of hits. Got to get a replacement door put on. <laughs> What do we got my mechanic skill up to now? Four. With six. All right. Four and theoretical six. That, that should be enough to hang a new door. We can go find one to, to put on there. All right. I'm going to take the hit. Left arm bleed. Drive. God damn it. And now I'm fucked. Ugh. So, apparently it did not start the vehicle. <laughs> what the hell just happened? Uh, it says it starts up, but then it let me move out of the space when I pushed to uh, to increase the, uh, the speed. I... Uh, what the hell happened here? Did I try to break the grab while I was driving and then it broke it, but it moved me to a new position? No, the seat's still there. I don't know what just happened. That was really weird. I, I, I literally started the engine. Then it, it moved me. I... <laughs> Uh-oh, uh Trixie Badger. You you wandered into uh, <laughs> some, some interesting territory there. Yeah, this is bad. In the middle of a portal storm, I got this nonsense going on. <sighs> Step again. And this goddamn skull zombie's as fast as me. How is this skull zombie as fast as me? Hopefully he's got to pay more cost. <laughs> and now I've got a boomer glutton on me. Oh my god, I'm gonna get annoyed. Now the skull zombie is not coming towards me when I want him to. Let's try this again. You take control of the Scoot V. Uh, 
Uh, see? Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> I'm trying to slow the vehicle down. And now all of a sudden it's asking me to dive out of the vehicle and it's, it's knocked me off the controls again. Is this the storm doing this? What the hell's doing this? Because that's really, really, really dangerous and annoying. No, do not dive from the vehicle. And it says I'm still controlling it. But it's randomly, when I'm trying to move the gas pedal up and down, it's randomly deciding to move my character instead. Oh man, this is so bad. Yeah, I know the car is now open to the storm, which is really bad. <laughs> I'm, uh, uh, I, I don't know what to do about it at this point. The game has screwed me several different ways here. Huh. And if I, if it's going to move me out of the seat every once in a while on its own, Oh, this is where you get the, uh, you get sent back five seconds thing. Is this good? Is this like a death sentence trying to drive a vehicle in the storm? And then if the sounds of the storm are drawing all the nearby zombies directly to you, isn't, isn't that like guaranteed death out here? I have no idea how damaged the door was originally. I still can't imagine how... I, I mean, it's possible that door didn't have the armor on it. It might have been one of the pieces that didn't have the armor on it, but uh, you got me. I, I don't know what condition that particular piece was in. I went around and I did repairs on most of the things. I mean, even the frame's gone now. <laughs> and I made sure I went through and repaired all the frames that were anywhere near damaged. So it's a mystery to me how a skull zombie popped off my door and my, my frame. I mean, if you destroyed the frame, the door would have gone with it, but I'm per I thought the frame was there originally when we I first started fighting him, but I was I was looking at other stuff, so I don't know. I'm not sure what I'm going to do here. If I keep moving and I get put out of the vehicle or it moves me in such a way that it's just going to kill me, Well, what do I do with this situation? No, I mean, I got nowhere nearby. We've been on the move for quite a bit. So, I mean, trying to get out to like here and clear this house and get undercover is about the only thing I can think of, but that's quite a long drive to get there. I can't just, I, I don't think I can go up the tower because I think that won't consider as, won't consider covered. I'm not 100% on that, but if I like squatted in the middle section of the tower, I don't know if I'd be subjected to it or not. Hmm. Don't have another door. I, I don't know. I think I'm going to just try to keep driving. If I insta-die, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Because part of this is broken stuff. I mean, right now, it says I'm in control of the vehicle. But I don't have the vehicle speed listing up here. So I... <laughs> Yeah, I'm not in control of the vehicle. This is so much bullcrap. This is this is stupid. <sighs> I uh, this is so broken. I can't just wait because the portal storm any activity for the portal storm is causing the noise to center here and it's drawing every zombie within tiles to to this location. Plus, the portal monsters are going to get in the vehicle and come at me. So, I can't just sit here. 
I don't know what will happen if I go up the, the, the radio tower. Especially if the storm, because I'm located here, draws zombies from all over the area, and then I have 400 zombies below me. I'd be fine if I could just drive the vehicle. It's just, it's being super weird about the vehicle. It keeps disappearing my actual control of the vehicle, and I can't tell when I'm actually in control or not. I mean, I just smashed into that fence because I couldn't tell. I was in control of the vehicle, but it wasn't showing me the control information. I couldn't see my speed indicators or speed up or slow down. And then it turned me when I tried to move to space to the north. So I don't know. I don't know what to do here. I want to just keep moving slow. But, yep, there it goes. I just about died because it stepped me out of the vehicle. <laughs> I might die yet. We might be reloading this save. Look at this. I'm about to get run over. I almost got ran over before it stopped. Yeah, this is just broken ass shit. I don't think the vehicle's going to stop. <laughs> it's supposed to stop. There it goes. Oh, nope, it's still moving. I'm going to get run over trying to get back in. <laughs> this is so bad. I mean, I was doing four. I can't go any slower. Get control of the vehicle. <laughs> Just, I don't know what to do here. It's so broke. Um, yeah, this is, this is, this is bad. There's no building nearby. There's nowhere I can go. <laughs> you wouldn't be opposed to another vintage story stream? <laughs> we may be heading that way at this rate. Uh, it's pretty quick. I'll have to decide whether a death is an earned death or it's broken ass nonsense. <clears throat> Hmm. So I've got zombies suddenly breaking doors, armored heavy duty doors, uh, skull zombies. I'm pretty sure they're not supposed to be able to do that. Uh, the frame itself is gone as well, which if you broke the frame, then it would have taken the door. I don't know which one went. Um, I got a portal storm that's keeping me from driving the vehicle. I've got the portal storm noise bringing all the zombies that are nearby to the vehicle. Or to me. I think there is a toggle for the storms. There's a um, go map. Change weather. Uh, I think if you... Uh, one of these I think will get rid of the storm. Just like clear or keep normal. I think we'll, we'll dissipate the storm. Well, I have a hard time in this kind of circumstance because I can't... It's hard for me to tell for certain what's intended behavior versus what's a bug or broken mechanic. Portal storms are somewhat new. I don't know what all their intended effects are supposed to be. I had heard talk about something regarding uh, people having problems in vehicles during portal storms because of some mechanic that rewinds time a few seconds. But I don't know if that's what I'm encountering here. because I'm operating the vehicle and it's just randomly disconnecting me from the vehicle connection. Yeah, the um, the link doesn't isn't correct anymore. I keep meaning to uh, change that link. It is... Um, you, let me go see if I've got the link here. I think I do. Mm -hmm. Not that page. Mm. 
believe that is where you want to go. That's the uh, the old one was taken up and uh, redone or continued by. I'm not 100 percent certain that's the actual download page, but yeah, it is. It's got the download and it takes you to the release section. <clears throat> hmm. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything in the log other than, you know, the effects of what's happening to me. I take control and then bam, I'm on the pavement. <laughs> there's there's no messaging, there's no whatever. going back to see if I see anything no nah, pretty much right there we were sleeping and then I was grabbed by the skull zombie so it's the downside to having earplugs in I couldn't hear it trying to bash and hit the other uh, vehicle I can't tell what happened to the vehicle the door that is um yeah I don't know don't know All right, let's. Uh, we got to do something. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go hide up in the tower. I think it's gonna be a horrible idea, and I'll probably die. But this vehicle thing is nonsense. If we do die, I'm gonna have to give some thought on to whether I consider it a valid death or not, because this is just nonsense. So, let's stop driving. Um, I'm not gonna worry about food or anything like that. Let's just open some doors. So if anything visits the vehicle, it can. Hey, shifting mass. A shifting mass. You can just step on through to the other side. And we'll go up this way. If anything visits me up top, I will, um, I will, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'll go back down, I guess. But we'll just wait right here and see if anything shows up. The sun is snuffed out like a candle. Yeah, screw it. Let's go. I want to be one down from the very top. We'll wait right here. One down from the tea top. The tea God. I don't have any tea. Oh, I'm, out, I'm out of tea. I didn't realize I I was out of tea. <laughs> that's that's what's happening. That's a problem. I'm cursed. Or lack of tea. Lack of tea has cursed me. Let's have some codeine and put a band-aid on while we wait for something to come and snuff me out. Oh, I guess we'll start with the important head location. Then the uh Leg location for movement speed. Shifting mass spotted. That's not good. Hey there, shifting mass. You're definitely going to be able to walk through the... Uh, yep. Yeah, okay. So I can get visited up here. So height is not helping me any. I don't know if I can actually hit these things or what they do. As long as it's illusional stuff. I don't know what I'm going to do. This is going to be a really slow, boring time if I have to sit here and just keep passing time second by second. <laughs> That's pretty bad. Um, so. Well, I mean, I've got a backup, so I don't need a quick save. We haven't done anything other than deal with this nonsense so far. So I have my backup from before I went live. We could always just pop back to that if I needed to. So there's there's no worry there. Like any sensible human playing the experimental branch, I make a backup before I do an update. And hey there, comrade Busman the third. <laughs> Thanks very much for the uh, prime sub. And general happy pie. Tea for the tea god. I wish. I wish. Oh, and we're also getting cold. <laughs> my arms are... My hands are negative 37. Oh, my hands and my feet. I mean, I got no shoes. But I got gloves. I thought I had gloves. Hey, let's look at that new thingy. So if we go here and we press S and then I look at hand. Oh, I have nothing. I have no gloves. I have no gloves. So yeah, we are cold. Oh well. Let's see if we can wait. See how long we can go before we're interrupted again. Shifting mass. Sure, we'll wait. Go away, shifting mass. Ouch, something hurts. <laughs> what? Is this the grass thingy again? 
What's going on? Blood splatter? Nope, it's not blood splatter. You awake with a start from what must have been a violent and horrifying daydream. Your body aches. Your hair stands out on the end as, you, as a faint electrical tingle washes over you. All right, I don't know what that was. Ignore it, which will get me killed, I'm sure. <laughs> more and more blood. So much blood! We're up to minus 41. Or down to minus 41. That's getting into dangerously cold territory. Uh, some of the stars grow so bright they hurt to look at. It's bright, middle of the night. Everything can see me. Go away. Whoa, an absence. Hey there, absence. Coming for me? Uh, some kind of error with absence. Uh, am I supposed to be scared? And he's gone. Yeah, I can't even wait five minutes. I think the pain messages are because of the cold. Or at minus... Look at my stats. Look at my stats. I mean, I can't do anything about the feet cold. That That's just... We're going to be cold. And we're going to take damage. I don't know if it's really helping me be up here. Let's put the axe away. So, the hands are in the pockets now, but that doesn't... I can't fix the uh, the cold on my feet. So, nothing I can do there. <laughs> I punched him for seven. Oh, is it gone? Is it gone? Is my vehicle still there? <laughs> Has it been ravaged further? Okay, I don't know that it really helped to be up at the uh, the tower. I think there was just, I moved far enough that there were no zombies nearby for it to pull to my location with the noise. Yeah, some zombie magically gained the ability to break a uh, reinforced frame. Actually, doors don't have the mill composite, so it was just a heavy-duty door. So zombie got uh, was able to break the door somehow, and um, and, and the heavy duty frame under it, <laughs> or both, and uh, then all of a sudden it cascaded into a comedy of issues. You know, after the comedy of issues that was the shock zombie that kept getting moved to my location and shocking me through the insulated vehicle. <laughs> so it's been a good time. My my attempts to raid the town uh, garage have failed horribly. Now I got to heal up all this damage and get a new damn door. Um, did I mark the location? I know we've got the one APC over here. I could probably get a door off of that if I can get all the way over to that one. Don't remember. Yeah, I think that's going to be my best bet. So we'll, we'll, we'll drive over there. We'll try to get a door. We got to get a door. I can't, I can't have this situation without the door. So. Okay, back to the bandaging that I got aborted. Um, you... And why is it not? There it goes. It's just delaying for some reason. Everybody gets a band aid. All right, we had a, uh, a rename, didn't we? I, I got tied up in all this nonsense. When I was Whoa. a kid, when I was Oops. young...
do that what thing <laughs> we're this way uh we had uh rename crowbar to improvise lockpick isn't that how we usually do that oh no it's usually the uh the 50 cal gets improvised lockpick crowbar oops Bait. permanent marker an item crowbar it's a label Improvised luck pick. There we go. All right. Um, so we got bandages on, we got painkiller in our system. Um, yeah, let's, um, Let's try not to fall out of the vehicle, and I'll have to drive around to that APC and see if we can grab a door. Any other vehicle will be nice as well, but I know the APC will have the right type of door. So this is definitely not going the way I expected the beginning of the stream to go this evening. Get out of the way, stupid thing that can now get in my vehicle. <laughs> now my hands are cold again. Now I don't have the uh, temperature protection. Alright, uh, stay here. I gotta find some gloves. I don't know if I even have any gloves. Where? Gloves? Tactical gloves. That'll have to do. All right, so follow the road and then go north, northeast. Take out your plugs. So I'm going to need to weld on a heavy frame and the door. Doors are made. The heavy-duty doors, I think, are made out of heavy-duty frames. So I'll have to clear that area enough to be able to grab two of the frames. Or just pull off two of the doors. Get them in the vehicle and drive off. And then we can do the work elsewhere. That's the hope. Hopefully we can keep it nice and simple. already a monster at. Let's go this way. Ah, Hulk. <laughs> That's just who I need to hop into the vehicle with me. We had quite the medley of uh, things and stuff wandering around over here previously. One of the chances I'm going to get back to that APC. I need to get the, uh, the goggles on. Um, activate. Goggles. Well, that doesn't look too good. Yeah. That's not what I need hanging around that area. What I need is right there. Heavy duty. I don't think it matters that it's an opaque door. I just need to rip that door off. Problem is, there's no other doors. This is the only door. Um, might be able to get inside if I'm alone, close it, and then take apart other components to uh, get the frames I need. Or I get them from somewhere else. Let's see. can't do that. I could just put a standard door on temporarily, but uh, certain zombies be able to rip through there. 
don't think I saved any heavy duty frames. Um, it's hard to get a hold of heavy duty frames in a house. Where else could I go? Junkyard? Back around to the junkyard? There'd at least be a lot of vehicle choices. I don't think... It's usually always cars, so I don't think there's any heavy-duty frames. Hmm. Let's... Try this. Let's honk the horn. So I honk the horn and the guys I want to move just sit there while the guys further away on this side all come streaming right at me. Thanks, guys. Alright, let's try the other method. Let's try turning on my headlamp. Everything should be able to see me now. Come on, guys near the APC. <laughs> You're the only ones I'm trying to attract. And you're not gonna. Some bitch. <laughs> um, if I didn't have an opening in my doorway, I'd be a little more, a little more forceful about this situation. Oops. And we just made noise. Which vehicle is that? Is that the RV? No, that's just standard frames. Yep, they're all just still hanging out there. Okay, let's try drive-by. With hunters next to me. Which means I'm probably going to have a hunter and... Oh, there's no frame for him to stand on, actually, so they can't just hop in next to me. Uh... <coughs> yeah, let's, um... Let's do it. Hey, guys, I'm right here. Come to me. <laughs> I'm going this way. All right, turn that light off and circle around. Oh, I'm dead tired. Hey, that's not a great condition to be trying to do this in. That is a terrible condition for this kind of activity. Uh, crap. <laughs> I don't want to sleep with a hole in my door. far enough. Got a little dog barrel. <coughs> Excuse me. so hard to get them to do what I want them to do. I'm gonna get hit by a rock right through the opening in the door. He tried. Beep. 
Yeah, these guys are not going to move now because they're banging up this vehicle, which are making noise, which is keeping them other ones tied to this vehicle. We'll do one more drive through. Mm, it's just about clean enough. Tempted. This guy's annoying me. I think I'm gonna have to settle, just settle for um, standard frame and door for now. I think this is too dangerous a situation, especially with me being dead tired. Got rid of most of them. No, don't stack up on the vehicle, grab her. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Please don't come around the corner. 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 <laughs> that went so horrifyingly bad so fast. <laughs> back up, back up, back up. Back up, back up, back up. Back up, back up. <laughs> oh man Oof. that thing would have ended us oh man that was bad so bad this this whole area has been just nothing but a curse nothing but a curse I should just, just wave goodbye uh. alright we're going to go to the junkyard <laughs> oh to just stop and grab it from that but too many other zombies near is that a different I think that's a new graphic too I don't remember that one batwing zombies different looking now it looks pretty appropriate no not a hollow <laughs> every vehicle on the road now has a guardian squad of zombies apparently <laughs> Uh, down around this forest edge, huh? Just well and truly cursed. That has heavy frames. It'd be nice if it did. Oh, standard frames. And a roadblock. Yeah, none of those vehicles in the back of the uh, center there, junkyard, are going to have heavy frames, so we might as well just work with what we got over here.
All right. Uh, I don't remember if I even... Did I throw any frames in the vehicle? I think I might have. Yeah, I have steel frames. So, what will you let me install? Standard frame. Sure. Got no other real choice. Oh, too dark. And, um, just a door. Uh, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> it's going to look weird. Door front left, I guess. Yeah, it's going to look weird. And it's just got little standard glass they're going to break. We'll just go with that. I mean, it's going to be no different than a door I grabbed from these other vehicles. So, I guess I technically didn't need to run over here. Forgot I had uh, those two steel frames we chucked in the back. So we get some heavy frames. <clears throat> um, I think these are standard frames as well. Let's go look. I have no night vision. Oh, <laughs> bad I looked. Either four by four. Now we just need. Are the fireflies coming to get me? Oh, those are the spotlights from the uh, the turret <laughs> or from the roadblock. They're coming to get me. They know where I'm at. Let's hide in the vehicle. Crouch. Uh, I didn't bring any of the. Tools? Yeah, I gotta have my my, my uh, crane with me. Alright, I'm gonna go get the crane. Can fix this yet? Activate. Ooh, folded crane. Eight. <laughs> folded crane. Crouch. Actually, we have enough moonlight, maybe? No, it said earlier I don't have enough light. Yep, too dark. Alright, let's try to do it from in here. Tired, intense pain, one o'clock, being lit up by spotlights. 